What is the difference between a goddess and a saint? Could someone be a goddess and a saint? The answer is yes. Let me introduce you to goddess Saint Bridget, who is part of the Celtic tradition and represents liminal space. Are you familiar with St. Bridget? Are you familiar with Bridget, the goddess? One curious aspect about Bridget is that some people say once upon a time, there was a goddess named Bridget who became a saint. That's the position of John Philip Newell, author of Sacred Earth, Sacred Soul. And then there are others such as poet Jan Richardson, who says it happened the other way. Bridget was a saint who became a goddess. This week, as I wrestled with those two versions of Bridget's story, what I recognized was I have a tendency to use either or logic. I started out thinking, you know what, either she is a goddess or she is a saint. But the truth is, she is both. Both and, either or, two different ways of thinking. Both and is part of the mystery that takes place in liminal space. We're not where we're going. And we're not where we used to be. So. Let's go back to the beginning and see if we can figure some of these intricacies out. We are returning to Celtic wisdom, which was present before Christian wisdom. Celtic folk were contemporaries of the Hebrew folk. They were both tribal. The Celtic tribe is kin to the Hebrew tribe. They lived during the same historical era and they lived in the same geographical space. In other words, they were neighbors. One of their main differences, which you might remember from the first lesson in this series, is that the Celtic folks honored the sacredness of the feminine. And this is because they relied on their own internal wisdom. With internal wisdom being those things that we know that we know that we know deep down in our soul without a word being spoken. One such knowing of the Celtic folks is also a deep knowing in each one of us. Deep within each one of us, deep within all of creation, and in fact throughout the entire universe, there is an energy which is thought of as masculine. And there is also an energy which is thought of as feminine. They are both of God. They are both necessary, valuable, and essential. This is holy wisdom. When these two types of energy move together, when they move as one, we are well balanced and we are whole. When one is elevated above the other, things begin to wobble. When the two move as one, there are endless possibilities. That's where new life is found. So what does that have to do with Bridget? Well, in the Celtic trace, tradition, she represents that space in between the masculine and the feminine, that liminal space, the space of what was and is what to come and is yet to come. Saint Bridget of Kildare is one of the most beloved saints of the Celtic tradition.